So I thought I'd create a series on racing. Um, and you know, there's so many videos on tuning your quad and, and which flight controller and which, you know, firmware, software, etc, etc. But nobody's really got videos, or, or at least I haven't seen any. Um, then again, I haven't really looked. Uh, on how to improve at racing. And there are some people, obviously, who are going to find this more useful than others. And this isn't going to take you to, you know, the championship podium at Nationals or anything. Uh, although maybe maybe it could, maybe it could help you. So, first let me outline, outline two things. First, why, who am I, and why am I qualified to do this? And second, who will this help? So first, why am I qualified? Well, first, because nobody else is really doing this, and I kind of want to. Uh, to help some of our local guys, the Chicago Drone Racers group. Um, and I did, I mean, I, I win some races locally. I've won a few. Uh, I've won some fast lap heats. Uh, I made it to nationals. I didn't get past Saturday at the uh, the qualifying rounds. I'm uh, pretty sure I missed it by one lap. Uh, but uh, I enjoyed it nonetheless. Um, and hopefully if you follow these videos or, or can get some information from them, it, it at least gets you to a point where you improve a little bit um, and then anything that you can learn, uh, you can just build upon yourself. Uh, because no matter how good somebody is, if they teach you to a certain point, um, if you don't get put in the time, get in the flights, put in the batteries, you're just not going to get better. Plain and simple. Some of that you have to figure out on your own, because some of these things, everybody says, well, that's obvious, but, and yet, you know, I see guys who are just, uh, I, th I believe, in my opinion, could be going around the course faster. So just, and part of this is going to have to be plain honesty. And hopefully nobody gets offended by anything that I put in these videos. But, um, you know, like I said, I do okay. I may not be the fastest guy around here, but uh, I have won a couple races. And I think, I think some of the advice that I give can help to a certain point. So who is this targeted for? <laughs> Well, this isn't going to be how to fly a quad. I mean, you, you, you've got to get to a point where you're going around the course and going through gates. Um, and, you know, for the beginners, here's I'll spend a, a couple minutes on this tip, these tips. So if you're just learning to fly uh, and going to races, you know, what I used to do is the first couple of practice laps, I wouldn't even go through gates because the hardest part for me is just learning and remembering the actual turns. So if you can't do that, and, and even now, if you can't do that, you can't get faster because to really get faster, as you're going through a gate or a flag or whatever obstacle, you have to know what's next. You have to remember what's the next obstacle because that's going to determine how you enter or exit, especially exit the current one you're going through. And you'll see what I mean uh, as we as we go forward. But if you're just starting out and you you can barely get through gates, okay. So this is for the people who are just starting to get into racing. Just go over the flags, go over the gates, go over them. You know you're not going to be penalized. You're not going to win because you're just starting out. You're probably not going to win the race. So why try to win? You know, spend your time learning how to get better by because if you just try to keep up with the fastest guy there, you're going to crash. You're not going to make it. It's better you get through the heat. Get through the entire two and a half minutes or whatever time is allotted to you and learn how to navigate the course faster for yourself. And for me, the first step of that was learning the actual course. Uh, because I'm not a, a spring chicken anymore. I can't remember stuff after one one practice round. I need to do it at least a couple of times to, to remember everything, especially the more complicated courses. So just go over the gates. Don't even try to go through them. That way your focus is on your memorization and, and trying to remember how the course is. And then uh, if you're if you're the kind of person who's really comfortable after the practice rounds, you can try going through the gates. Um, okay, so that's enough of that. So, if, you know, if you're already making it around courses, going through gates, and let's, let's say this, this will basically be a requirement. Um, for for who the target audience is, you have to be able to take off, finish the two and a half minutes, and land, and go through every gate and flag. Then I believe these tips can help. I just can't start from a point where you're just learning how to fly. I'm sorry, uh, but for those of you guys who are doing that, you really have to just get into the, uh, or get the batteries in, get the flights in, go out to fun flies, go out with your friends, you know, practice um, as much as you can. And once you're getting through flags and gates, then come back, and hopefully I can help you out. Okay, so uh, how are we going to do this? You know, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. Um, you know, I, I I think 
uh, posting some videos um, and we have a whole range of different uh, uh, guys and skill levels uh, whenever we fly so maybe I can just capture some of them uh, on a DVR and post their footage uh, and I don't want to say show what they're doing wrong, but show what uh, what guys at different levels are doing. Let's put it that way, um, because nobody's any doing it. Hey, if guys if guys are coming out and flying with us, nobody's doing anything wrong. Okay. So if you're just uh, heading out once, you know, one hour a, a weekend, and you're just flying with your friends, um, then and if you want to learn how to race and, and be competitive, I hate to say you need to put in more time. Um, but if you're desiring to go to races and you're going out with your friends and you're you're practicing you're putting in a lot of hours and batteries and um but you're finding that you're kind of stuck you're not picking up speed or then hopefully this can help you so that's part of uh who this is for so like i said we're going to show some videos uh, of other people uh, myself uh some friends of mine some are really fast uh, maybe i'll do some paper diagrams of the courses and show you know how how i take turns how I believe slow turns and there's no when one way to skin a cat um, you know there's there's a couple people who are really fast and we take very different lines um, but our times are very similar so if if you believe you could make a time on a certain part of the course faster than me or somebody else then feel free you know but uh, and maybe this this video isn't for you you may not even need this but for the people who are just and you know just starting to be able to make it through gates and want to learn how to pick up some speed and some time maybe I can help out hopefully that's what I'd like to do especially since uh well as far as I can tell nobody else is doing it so let's uh let's try all right and uh, that's basically the intro hopefully the next videos will uh, we'll see and if you guys have any suggestions or or comments uh, um, then please post them because like I said I don't know the format of this I'm gonna play it by ear and uh, we'll see how it goes all right thanks